In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to stop heavy run sets in Madden 21 from your base defense. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're new to the channel and you have not already subscribed yet, it's completely free to subscribe and all you have to do is hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Now, I upload new videos every single day um, to try to help people become better Madden players and so uh, by subscribing you're going to be able to know whenever those new videos are released. Now really quick before we dive too far into today's tip, I do want you to know that this is a defense that I cover heavily in my Nickel 335 wide defensive ebook. And if you want to get that defense, that link is available for you in the description of this video. Okay guys, so I wanted to talk to you today um, specifically about run defense and, and really about how do you stop the heavy sets. The, the two tight end, you know, you know, cloud of dust offenses they're just trying to run honestly they're just trying to run on you all game okay here's how you do it and here's how you do it without really suffering um, from a pass defense perspective so uh, what I'm gonna do is as you'll see here I'm gonna put my flats on 30 my curl flats on 10 and my hook curls on five yards okay now the real key here is to get your safeties into the run fit and one of the ways that I'm gonna do that is by using the cover four show two out of the nickel 335 uh, wide formation from that point, as you see there, I'm pressing coverage, and then I'm going to put both of my outside guys on cloud flats. Now really quickly, if you have any questions about anything that you'll see in this video, you can always text me. My personal cell phone number is 812-216-3644. I've also put it in the top left-hand corner of your screen, so that uh, that way you can, you know, at any, any time, just pull out your phone and write the number down. Okay, so we put both of our outside guys into cloud flats. From that point, we're going to shift our defensive line to the side of strength. Now, the beauty of I-form tight is it's actually strong to both sides if you actually think about it. So uh, we're going to shift them to the right anyways. And then from that point, we're going to put both of our outside linebackers onto seam flats. And then we're going to take our middle guy and really just put him on a vertical hook. And we're going to blitz our user. Okay. Now what you'll notice is this will be a, a, an okay starting point, okay? So let's say they run power out. We're gonna shoot that way, and as you see right there, the safeties will fill. Now you will, you will make it a lot easier on yourself if as soon as you see somebody running the ball, you click your right stick, um, you click your right joystick in. And the reason why this helps a ton in the run game is it basically tells your defense, hey, he's running the ball, go forward. That's what it tells your defense. Um, so you see here against stretch, you see I'm able to really blow stretch up. Now I have a rule of thumb in my shooting, especially from 335 wide. Um, if, if I see an outside run to the strong side, so for example, if I see something like a stretch or a power up, I'm shooting right into this gap right here. If I see anything to the left side, I'm shooting down through here. If I see an inside run, I'm shooting down and through here. If I see a toss, I'm just getting out here. Okay, that's kind of my rule of thumb for how I'm gonna shoot. So for example, let's say they run ISO. I'm going down in here, right? Now, the, the real key with this defense is um, getting these safeties in, in almost like a stack linebacker type of look here. To me, that is the biggest key to your defensive success. If you can get, the, if you can get those safeties to help you out against that run right there, you're gonna be good, you're gonna be golden. The ISO is the run that is the hardest to stop, in my opinion, consistently. Um, you'll blow it up every now and then. Um, the other thing is though, it's not a run to me that you're gonna see a lot of people use because it's not a run that's gonna get them a t automatic touchdown. But I mean, I mean I, I, of course if I say that, you know, he's able to get, you know, up there. But but what I'm what I'm getting at here is this defense right here is kind of your first start. Um, if this doesn't work, there is other things that you can do. But if you can get this defense to work against their run, you are going to have a really, really good day at the office because it's really, really good pass defense. Like, it's really, really good pass defense. So that's just something that you need to be aware of. And what I like to do typically is I'll put this guy behind this, this guy right here. And then on this side, this guy's just going to go over the tackle, as you see right there. That's kind of where I line them up if I have a shot to be able to, if I have a chance to get them lined up right. Because you'll see against Power O and stuff, they just come down and they shoot through. Um, you know, and, and, and it is a little bit like 
technical. You know, I would get them a little bit behind here. You see just a little bit behind here. Um, and then right there, snap of the ball, oh, he's in stretch, and we all, call, we all come down to the ball, as you can see. Now, the thing about two tight end sets, especially I form uh, tight, is let's say they playmaker the run to the left side, uh, because the left side is still a strong, uh, really still strong for the offense. It's kind of weak for the defense if you look at the way that everything kind of uh, set up for itself. So let's say they playmaker the run to the left. You see here, this gap right there, that's what I'm talking about. If they playmaker that stretch run to the left, you could shoot right through that little gap. The same thing is fairly, pretty much the same thing is true with Power O. So again, you're just gonna move these guys over their, over their tackles. You don't want them too close, but you definitely don't want them too far backed off. They run Power O, and as you can see here, you know, the safety comes down and really fills the lane well to be able to stop that run. Now, I form tight power O is a lot harder to stop than I form close power O, in my opinion. Um, but you are just coming straight through here. And as you see, the defense kind of comes down on it and stops it on its own. Okay. Now, uh, to talk about a couple of other things. What about, um, let me jump out here and let me grab, um, let me grab the I form wing. And what we're going to do is we're going to flip it so that uh, it's ran to the wide side. So this is the I-form wing uh, RPO type stuff that you'll see. So uh, what, what I would, this is also similar to stretch, um, or I'm sorry, strong strong wing, but definitely shifting left here. And really the rules don't change a ton. Like if they run stretch left, you see I'm just gonna fight up that, that alley. And as you can see, we're able to get up there. Um, and the, the best run to me uh, from this is the stretch out of strong wing. I think this one's the hardest one to stop consistently. Um, so again, you can just set it up just like this, shift them over. And then again, remember, we're gonna be kind of right in here. Now, if you see strong wing stretch, you're just coming right up here and just fighting through. A lot of times that defensive tackle will actually make the play for you on this run, uh, just because of how, I will say this run is definitely random. Like it doesn't always do what, I, I have personally had a little bit of a challenge sometimes with this run in weekend league. If, if somebody comes out and they run the ball a lot, you know, this is the run that will give me a little bit of issue. But again, we're just going to fight through here. And as you see, we can come on stretch runs. You can easily come up through there. Now, what people are going to do is they're going to get wise to that. Uh, so they're going to start trying to run inside, right? Because they're going to say, oh, well, you're over pursuing the outside. So let me try running inside on you. You definitely want your blitz angle to be right there and as you'll see here if they run dive um, you know you can see you can run into some issues so one thing that I will say um, about this is this is where if you want to use your man coverage okay if you want to use your man coverage I would recommend it the one thing you've got to watch is if a tight end goes on a corner route you got to go guard it Okay, like it is like vital that you go guard that tight end. But as long as you take care of the tight ends on the corner routes, there's really not a lot that they can do. And as you see, those spies really come down and they really uh, are able to lock things down. Now, let's say they run, um, let's say they run uh, Power O from Strong. We haven't covered that run yet. Uh, so again, I like to shade inside and underneath and spy both safeties if I'm playing you know, if I know they're going to run, that's the defense that I'm going to be in. If I don't think they're, you know, if they might be one way or the other, then, you know. But if they do this, I have to watch tight end routes. If if, I, if I'm not careful, I'll get burned over the top of the corner route. But anyways, um, power O, you see, right there, automatic shoot and automatic five yards loss. If they run outside, you're shooting in between the guard and the tackle. If they run inside or backside, you're shooting in between the guard and the center. 100%. Um, it's almost automatic at this point and really the, the the spine of the safeties will make this will make this defense much much better uh, in my opinion you're gonna notice that from the jump you're gonna say wow uh, once I started spying my safeties um, it was darn near impossible for them to run the ball zone weak uh, here's another run so here rules okay oh it ran left so I'm just gonna fill that backside cut back and as you see we're able to really take that care take care of that so that really, in a nutshell, is how you deal with these running sets. Um, these tight end sets are tough. Uh, the, the more that people run, the, I think more people will realize that this is harder to stop than people think. Um, this, this, this 
this type of running is much harder to stop than people think. The issue is you have to leave a zone. Um, so like, like in this right here, if there's a wide receiver out there, I'll leave the deep half over the side of the receiver. My job is just to uh, backside spy here. So right there, that was a bad shoot, but as you see, the defense kind of fills to the ball. So anyways, that is a little bit about how to stop these two tight end sets. Passing wise, you know, I mean, it, it comes down to man. I mean, man coverage will hang with most of what they're going to do uh, passing wise. The best play to me that you're going to have to stop would be this play right here. This is uh, PA cross. And like I said, if you're in man coverage, what you're going to notice is your man coverage will play it. But the problem is it needs an opportunity. So like I said, I would leave this guy on a deep half, but this guy would bring him down on a spy. So now what that means for your defense here is you've got a crossing route, a flat, you know, some things like that that you've got to deal with. Now, if you have, you know, corners with really good abilities, that's one thing. If you don't have the corners to do it, then here's what you need to do. Oh, crap. Get back. Go there and there, and now you've taken that away, okay? But you've got to, you know, be a little careful. When you start playing these sets, like the strong uh, tight, you have to be aware, okay, he could go to this play, and this play is tough to stop. So that's where I also come back and say, I actually think if you did something like, like this right here, you know, and, and really didn't even have anybody deep, you're just taking, you know, you just take the one tight end that's not manned up, which would be X, um, and I would just man him up. Now you've got the running back. If the, wherever the running back goes, that's who you got. But this this now takes everything away. Um, and as you see here, you know, there's really nothing open. If they try to throw that crosser, um, that cloud flat's going to drop right into that into that area. So that's another little thing that you could you could try out. But that is um, the run defense against two tight end sets that I like to go to, um, whether it be the quarters version of it or the man version. Uh, the man version is a little bit better against the run. The quarters version, in my opinion, is a little bit better against the pass. So if you want to get that full defensive ebook, it is available in the description of this video. Like I said, it's just 15 bucks. Now, if you want to uh, get the free sample video, we actually have a copy of that in our text message membership. Um, so all you got to do to get that that's completely free to you it's a one hour preview of the defense and that is available in my text message membership all you got to do to pick that up is just text me my cell phone number is 812-216-3644 i want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and i look forward to talking some madden with you tonight on stream we stream every single night except for saturday nights right here on my youtube channel and i'll see you tonight at 10 p.m eastern time